how to roll hi-hats in Logic Pro X. Very common in trap music, but also a great way to add flavor and dynamic to your hi-hat movements, no matter what genre in. So it doesn't really matter. I'm Charles Klein, singer, songwriter, and producer. If you're a producer or maybe an indie musician, you're making music, try to get that music heard, then this channel is definitely for you. Let's get into Logic here and start rolling some hi-hats though. I have a little drum kit here and I'm using the drum machine designer in Logic. So let's stick inside the drum machine designer, build our kind of pattern and our hi-hat pattern in the step sequencer, and then we can put that into MIDI and then dive a bit deeper into it. Press E to open our piano roll editor, and I'm just gonna go to step sequencer here. Whoop, just opened a new thing. So step sequencer. So now we have all the elements of our drum kit. So let's stick with a simple kick, snare, kick, snare pattern and let's lay some hi-hats over that. So kick, snare, oh, well, those are hi-hats. So kick, snare, kick, snare. And now we'll lay the hi-hats over in the middle here. Keep a note in the step sequencer, take a look at what your rate is here. So we're on 1 16th now. So if we prefer 1 8th hi-hats, we have to go 1 8th here. And now we can fill up each square with hats sounds. You can also click and drag. And now we have a kick snare, kick snare with this hi-hat pattern. Now what we wanna do is roll the hi-hats in some places. So the step sequencer is great to roll hi-hats but also add velocity here and there to add more dynamic. So we can press drop down here and note repeat is where we're going to do the rolls. So you can see each note here says one. If we want to roll the fourth hi-hat, we click in and drag up or down. And when we drag up, it will roll more times. So right now, if we find a place at the three, it's going to roll, it's going to play this hi-hat three times, which is a roll. And that's what a roll is. If we wanted to also roll down here, click up. We can also have that 10 times, six times, you know, whatever you, whatever roll you would like. So let's say we want this pattern. Let's just do some quick velocity changes. Let's lower everything down to about 70 ish and just do a bit of a velocity pattern. Just clicking in and just changing the velocities a little bit more. So it sounds a bit more human. So this is what we have now. And those are rolled hi-hats. So that's the quick and easy way to do it within the step sequencer. You can see when we change this to MIDI, if we right click and go to convert to MIDI region, and then we say down here, or we can even at the top says separate by note pitch, go separate by note pitch. And then once we dig in on the MIDI in the piano roll editor, we can see not only that we've changed the color of the velocity because we've done that in the step sequencer, but you can see the MIDI notes here. These are the rolls that we made. And so you can do the same thing if you would prefer just to work directly within the piano roll editor. You can go with your pencil tool or paintbrush tool. I prefer the pencil. And you can draw your notes in as you would. And then you dig into the piano roll editor while you're listening to your song and while you're mixing. If you get annoyed with the rolls, you can get into the piano roll editor and edit them. Another way to roll hats, if you don't want to do it within the piano roll editor or the step sequencer, you can just do it yourself with your, well, if you actually have hi-hats and you can record them with a mic, or you can also do it with a MIDI controller here. So I have a MIDI controller. I've set my hats track to record. I can press any note on my MIDI controller to get that pitch. So I'm in B flat here. So I'm going to do B flat pitch. And I'm just going to do a pattern that I hear in my head over this kick snare and then we can edit it in MIDI and add some rolls inside the piano roll editor. So let's record this. I tried to do the rolls there. That sounded not great, but doesn't matter, we can just go Command A here and we'll quantize by 1 16th. 
and that should lock more of them all into place if I played more or less in time, and then we can nudge them here and there a bit and add some extra ones if we want more flavor. You can see the velocity isn't great. It's all pretty red hot. I might, oops, I might command A, lower the velocity over on the left here, and then go in and dial in more on the velocity. But you can see we have our little roll here. If we want more of a roll, we can go in add another hi-hat here even. Let's just delete, drag this one over. We can see what different things sound like. If we play with the timing, now we're in quite fast timing here. Maybe a nice roll at the end. And we'll just extend the MIDI region a bit. Sounds kind of cool. Rolls are great here and there to add flavor and dynamic, but sometimes if there's too many happening too often, too frequent, then it can be distracting to the listener. So use them tastefully. So that's how I roll hi-hats in Logic Pro X. If you're an indie musician and you're making music and you're trying to get that music heard, then please feel free to subscribe because these are the videos that I make on this channel. So I hope to see you in the next video.